and leave it to contrarian badass Reggie Middleton. He, Reggie walks in looking really cool. He's got a Google Glass on, and I'm like, man, that's cool. And did he walk what did like you? That? Yeah, he walked like that. That's how you walk <laughs> if you've got you Google like Glass that? on. Everyone really? walks real cool. Nuts. He called the housing crash. He called the collapse of Bear Stearns and Lehman Brothers. He's been harping on the crisis in the Eurozone banking system for years now, so he's just the guy to talk to. He's Reggie Middleton. Reggie Middleton. Reggie Middleton. <laughs> Reggie Middleton. Oh, he doesn't mince his words. We're talking about Reggie Middleton. Ooh. It's Reggie, Reggie Middleton. Greetings, everybody. It's Reggie Middleton. And I want to go over uh, what I would consider a lever, an unfair advantage. The ability for one side to take significant advantage of the other. We have David, we have Goliath. We have big man versus little man. But little man can defeat big man if little man has sufficient weaponry. So... Today's weaponry would be something simple, knowledge. Knowledge is power. Knowledge in this context would be an economic uh, concept known as asymmetric information. So think in terms of geometry, symmetry, where you have two even parts, okay? Asymmetric information, asymmetric information is asymmetry, where one part does not equal the other. Asymmetric information is when one party knows something that the other party doesn't. For instance, you have a used car salesman, and that used car salesman wants to sell you a car. He knows that that car has 180,000 miles on it, is only good for 200,000 miles, has one bad piston, but that bad piston is not showing me evidence. He knows that car's engine is going to go kaput in less than four months. You buying that car do not know that. So you have a choice of um, buying the car in ignorance, or you could be very careful. You could go and buy the car, but as a precaution, say I want to bring it to my mechanic. You let your mechanic check it out. He says, hey, the engine is bad. That used car salesman is a sucker. Okay, bring this to the financial markets asymmetric information where you have one group whether they be buyers or sellers or traders or market makers that have information that another group does not but you see in financial markets you don't have things that have an intrinsic value above and beyond their financial worth so information is the value or furthermore knowledge is the value so we take that same example of the used car salesman and we bring it to the financial markets. I'm selling mortgage-backed security CDOs, okay, or mortgage-backed securities. I know for a fact that 35% of those mortgages are being paid by people who are not even alive. So they're not really being paid. I know 20% of the pool of mortgages are being paid by people who have not only a horrible credit rating, but who are guaranteed to default. But the rating agencies have labeled this as a AAA uh, vehicle, investment grade, et cetera, et cetera. You rely upon a rating agency, like the uninformed buyer of the used car will rely on a mechanic. You buy these AAA mortgage-backed securities, they go bust, you're out in the cold. That's exactly what happened during the 2008 financial crisis. The difference between used car salesmen in that market and the financial markets is that the only reliance you possibly have is information or knowledge. Knowledge, of course, differs from information and in that knowledge is the ability to use that information. Information or data packets, okay? And in the world of the internet, there's more information than anybody could possibly have. Knowledge is that information refined and put together and congealed in something that is usable, digestible, profitable. Here's where we come with Veritas University, our knowledge base. I offer knowledge through our research. I just put a very scathing article out on Deutsche Bank. I think it's a third. You know, let's be real. Everybody knows Deutsche Bank is, you know, basically a third. Uh, Deutsche Bank has significant problems. They're basically uh, Lehman Brothers to be on, uh, you know, life support.
What most people don't realize is that Deutsche Bank does not um, exist in a vacuum. When it goes down, or if it goes down, or if it's even threatened or perceived to be going down, its counterparty is going to run on it. Who are Deutsche Bank's counterparties? Deutsche, Bank, Deutsche Bank's counterparties are the entities that we're doing research on and that we have short recommendations on. Interesting because some of them have share prices that actually have increased. Now, if we were to buy sh um, puts on Deutsche Bank's counterparties and these shares increase, that is a perfect example of asymmetric information. Okay, asymmetric knowledge. The information is available. Okay, these companies report, everybody sees the same stuff, but certain individuals and entities are able to digest that information and make knowledge of it at a more efficient rate than others. That's the asymmetry. Very tasty clients, the Goliaths, everybody else, the Davids. Voila.